Hey y'all, it's me, and welcome back to another day of the Dawn's Daily Devotional, reading out of Experiencing God Day by Day. Today is August 31st, and the devotional title is Motives. The verse of the day comes from Mark 10, verse 51, and it says, Then Jesus answered him, What do you want me to do for you? Okay, the devotional reads, It is hard to believe that the Lord would ask us, what he could do for us. However, sometimes that is a question we must answer. Bartimaeus was blind and he knew exactly what he wanted Jesus to do for him, restore his sight. Yet he received much more than physical sight. He received salvation for Jesus knew Bartimaeus's heart was faithful. Bartimaeus immediately used his gift to become a follower of the savior. Jesus also asked James and John what they wanted him to do for them. They requested the most prominent places in his kingdom. This time, Jesus answered that he could not give them what they asked. Their request was selfish, and it brought dissension among their fellow disciples, as seen in Mark 10, verse 41. Only when we pray according to God's will, is he pleased to grant our request? As seen in John 15, 16. We will not see our prayers answered if we ask selfishly, as seen in James 4, verse 3. If God refrains from giving us what we are asking, we should evaluate our prayers. Are our motives selfish? Are we asking for far less than what God wants to give? As seen in 2 Kings 13, 19 in Ephesians 3, verse 20. Are our requests worthy of the God we approach? Do we lack the faith God requires to give us our desires? As seen in Matthew 17, 20. Is there unconfessed sin? As seen in Isaiah 1, verse 15. God delights in responding to our requests as seen in Matthew 7, verse 7. If we will ask according to his will, we, like Bartimaeus, will receive far more than what we anticipated, as seen in Jeremiah 33, 3. So asking God basically to grant you the desires of your heart, like not only grant you those desires, but actually like place those desires in your heart, if that makes sense. I always pray that same prayer, like not only do I want like my desires to be fulfilled, but I want God to be the one to like give me those desires. So that way I know that it's aligned well with his will. So just making sure we're not asking for things that are selfish, you know, that will encroach negatively on our community. Uh, and we're not asking for too little. It has to be that happy medium. And you find that happy medium through prayer, prayer and trusting in God's will and, you know, his promises for your life. So I hope you have a wonderful day today. If you know anybody that you know you feel that can benefit from these daily devotionals, feel free to share it with them and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.